Vision issues can be really nerve-wracking and annoying, but what are some of the things that can be easily spotted and fixed? In this video, we will talk about easy to spot and fix issues of VTX or the camera. Hello everyone, my name is Lexi, aka Mayon High, and welcome to FPV24 channel. Just before we start, I would like to ask you to smash that like button to help us make algorithm extremely happy and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you want to be sure that you get all of the videos and information about them, smash that bell button as well. Information about all of the products that we will mention in this video are down below in the description box, so be sure to check them out. Before we start, I want to invite you to a little bit of a quiz. Before all of the videos, we will be showing you three seconds of an issue and I want you to guess in the comments down below what actually is it. What does it mean if your vision has the OSD from the FC but is actually pitch black? Usually the issue is in the camera. So what you have to do is to check first the yellow cable that's coming from your camera to your FC to check if it's maybe loose, maybe it broke inside, sometimes it happens, or eventually switch your camera because the FC works by itself. <laughs> What actually happens when you have a gray screen with the FC OSD on it? That actually means a little bit of a bigger issue because usually that means that something's wrong with the FC. The easiest fix and the quickest one is to connect your camera directly to the VTX with this yellow cable. If this solves the issue, you know basically what happened. If this doesn't solve the issue, it may also be a camera as well. Maybe after a crash, maybe something happened like this. Another really common issue is lines in your feed. And I want to start with little squares. So when you have a lot of little squares on your vision and they look kind of weird and there's more of them every time you punch your throttle, that actually means that there are screws touching the windings on your motors. Be sure that the screws on your motors are not touching the yellow part of them and are just high enough to go a little bit above the stand. Another common issue is white lines, and white lines are usually caused by an excessive power. Usually what you can do is to add a little capacitor on the ESC or directly to the XT60. Another common issue connected with lines is black lines on your feet, and those are actually usually low power related. Some of the VTXs are not doing that well with the stepped down power, and you may actually see that the issue is bigger on higher power like 800 milliwatts rather than on 25. What you can do about it is to either power your VTX directly from the LiPo or something that's not 5 volts, so you are looking for VBAT or something like this, or eventually it may mean that you have a little bit destroyed VTX and it needs switching. But just a quick note for this, be sure that your VTX can handle getting power done directly from the LiPo. Some of them can be powered on directly only from the FC, so just 5 volts. If you have even white lines on your feet, it may mean that one of your friends is flying digital while you are flying analog. And that also means that they are a little bit too close to you when it goes to their channel. Be sure to always check with your friends on which channel they are and that you are far enough from each other. And it also works the other way around. If you have issues with your digital signal and it gets a little bit more pixelated, it may also mean that someone is getting on your channel as well or that you are getting too far away from yourself. Noise in your feet. It may happen that if your VTX is powered on directly from the LiPo, it may get a little bit noisy because the signal is noisy by itself. And this is where capacitors come to play. Usually VTXs have some inbuilt filtering in themselves for their circulation and also for the video feed for yourself. Cameras usually have no filtering in them, so be sure to keep the signal as clean as possible. One of the things that you can do with the noise, and this is a really good practice to do, is to twist the ground and signal wire, which is the black and yellow one, all together and keep them as far away from ESC and back as possible. Because this little twist is actually acting like a natural shield for your vision. <music> 
Have you ever experienced weird colors after a crush or just randomly showing up? What I mean by this is like pinkish, greenish, weird colors in your feet all of a sudden, what happened? What may be happening is that your camera has been a little bit crashed too much and something's destroyed inside of it or also it may be happening that your goggles are getting a little bit overheated and they kind of get something in there. Vibrations in your feet, even though you cannot really hear any and in your black box there is none, that may actually mean that during the flight your quad is vibrating in general and that means that some of the screws are getting loose. This is why it's really important to always recheck the screws before you are flying. But it also may happen that your camera screws are getting a little bit loose, meaning that uh, it's not your drone vibrating, it's just the camera or the lens. And since we are on this topic, if your video gets a little bit blurry, a little bit, just tiny little bit during the flight, this may mean that the lens is actually pretty loose and you want to land as fast as possible because otherwise, well, you, you can lose it mid-flight. Losing your vision after like 50 meters. If you're an analog user, what you're gonna see is a lot of snow in your vision. And if you are a digital user of DJI system or SharkBite, you're gonna see a lot of pixelated stuff and it's gonna be harder and harder to see stuff around you. What it may mean is not necessarily VTX, it may actually be an antenna. So always check, just switch one antenna to another if the thing still continues. If it doesn't, it was the antenna and they actually may break during crashes or when you are just transporting them all around, they may just bend or break inside and that's basically the issue. If the issue persists, it is a, unfortunately a VTX. I hope that this quick list of the most common and easy to fix issues of VTX and cameras has helped you a lot. And if it did, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up to help us make algorithm happy. And also let us know in the comments down below how many of those you actually knew and guessed in the quizzes. I'm really interested in this. That's all I had for you today and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.